Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews and How To. And on today's video, we're taking a look at a security threat to your system. That is, if you're using a MSI motherboard from the last few years. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're taking a look at a new security threat to MSI motherboards. This was highlighted on Bleeping Computer, and I'll be linking that article in the video description below so you can check out in more detail, and also the motherboards that it actually affects. And there's roughly around about 290 of them, depending on the firmware version or BIOS version on your particular motherboard. Now, it does appear that most of the motherboards, if they've got a BIOS, which is around about the tail end of 2021 onwards, then potentially you are affected. Now, this is related to the system secure boot functionality, which will prevent unsigned code from actually running on the system. Now, for some people, this is actually a blessing in disguise because it means you can install certain Linux or other operating systems on your motherboard without having to get secure keys, etc., etc. Very boring stuff, but essentially, Secure Boot is there designed to stop unsigned code from executing on your system, so from rootkits, bootkits, all that kind of thing, which can potentially infect your system. So let's take a look at the computer and see what is going on and see how we can actually rectify it. So first of all, this is the article over at bleepingcomputer.com. And you can see this is the thing. So MSI accidentally breaks Secure Boot for hundreds of motherboards. And it goes through in some detail telling you about it, etc. And also the person that highlighted the original fault and basically tells you how to mitigate it. Now, there is a section in here on how to actually kind of fix the problem. Although the fix that they're recommending is actually not entirely accurate. So there was somebody who actually kindly posted at the bottom of the article saying that there is a section which basically, yeah, don't do what they've said in the article, do something entirely different. So we're going to try that now. The link of the boards which are affected is over on github.com. And again, I'll link that in the video description. But as you can see, there's an absolute ton. Now, there are some which are all affected from the release, so all firmware versions. And that includes some of the latest boards, the X670Es, B650s, X570S boards, and some of the B550 Gaming Gen 3 boards, Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi, etc., etc. You can read the list at your own leisure. Uh, there are other affected boards, which if you're running with a newer firmware version, and it does actually state the firmware version that it kind of affects. So it's that version and anything after it. So there is uh, an absolute ton of boards affected. So this is uh, not a great look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut down the computer, go into the boss and show you how to basically re-secure your system. So when you turn on your PC, just keep on tapping the delete key to access your system's BIOS. So this is the MSI BIOS. This one, as you can see, actually is a, a, a relatively new one. So the version on this particular board, which is the B550 Gaming Plus. This is version 1B0, which was from, I think it's August, because the BIOS dates are around the wrong way, because it's American date. No offense, American users. Anyway, I digress. So what you want to do is to go into settings. If you're not on this page already, you can press F7, and it'll switch between the easy mode, which is this one, or advanced and then go into Advanced, down into Windows OS Configuration, and find Secure Boot. Now, if you're not too sure where it is on your system, you can always use the magnifying glass at the top here and just type in Secure, and you can go to it that way. So in Secure Boot, you've got Secure Boot enabled, which uh, it needs to be, or at least it should be, and Secure Boot Mode currently is set to Custom. The bit we really want is this bit here, so image execution policy. So you do need to be in the custom mode because their standard default mode is basically wide open and will let you install anything. So you wanna go into image execution policy. And as you can see, it's as default, it's set to always execute. So that means it's always gonna run unsigned code regardless. So even if you've got secure boot turned on, it's basically doing nothing at all. The ones you wanna change are fixed media and removable media. Option ROM you don't need to do. So removable media, this is gonna be for USB drives, etc. So what you wanna do is go down to deny execute. Now in the actual article, it says choose always deny. If you set it to always deny, your PC will never post again. It basically stops the computer from going into even the BIOS. And if you do select this, you will need to then do a complete CMOS reset. So take out your graphics card, take out your CMOS battery if you can find it, short it out, reset it, all that kind of stuff, or possibly even have to flash the BIOS again. So 
don't choose always deny. I did this earlier and I can confirm it basically locks you out the system in its entirety. So you want deny, execute. And also for fixed media, go in and do the same. So deny, execute. This will basically deny any unsigned code from executing, which kind of makes sense. So yeah, that is exactly what it's trying to do. So when you've done that, come out and you can just click on the cross button and basically it's going to tell you what it's going to do. So it's going to set to removable media, always execute is now been changed to deny execute and fixed media, always execute to deny execute. Also, when you're happy, click on yes. Now you can let the system reboot and then you can go back into Windows. Okay, so there you go. There is your system secured from secure boot point of view. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, smash that like button if you want to see more content like this on a daily basis. Hit subscribe and the channel notification if you're notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing and Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.